Hey y'all, this is Justin again. Time for another Audacity tutorial. This one comes via request uh, of one of my subscribers. He asked me how to install more plugins in Audacity. And uh, it's actually quite simple. And this tutorial should be pretty quick. I'm going to go through it and uh, I'll show you how to get some free plugins legally as well as how to install them in Audacity and, uh, you know, just sort of have some fun with it. So <clears throat> here we go. What you're going to do first is um, let me get my camera uh, cam studio out of the way. Uh, cam studio is a good uh, screen recorder, uh, sort of, by the way. It's free as well. It's not great, actually. It's it's OK, <laughs> but uh, I had to do some serious tweaking to get the audio to work, but I got it working and it's free. So, hey, good enough. Uh, so anyway, back to the task at hand. Let's open up Audacity and how to get help. Don't show this again. I don't want to ever see that again in my life. Uh, so just kidding. I just installed uh, Windows 7 on this machine. I, I partitioned my hard drive. So now I have a dual booting Linux and Windows uh, system. And that's cool with me. I mean, I wanted some Windows to do some other things too. I, I really like being able to use Sony Vegas again. And that's the main reason why I did it. But man, I always get sidetracked. Okay, I'll shut up and let's just do what we're gonna do. So, okay, we have uh, Audacity open. Where can you get free plugins? Well, I'll tell you where. You go right here to www.kvraudio.com. And I am not affiliated with these guys in any way. It's just a great site. I've been it's been online for years. You probably already know about it. Everybody does. But if you don't, come here, click on plugins. And they have this amazing uh plugin searching thing. So let's just click Windows because that's what I'm using right now. Uh, VST. You could, you know, use any of these if you like, uh, depending on what system you're using. But VST is one of the most common, and you'll find a lot of free VSTs. So let's click Effect. Um, it's best not to use instruments in Audacity. Well, quite simply, they just won't work because there's no MIDI uh, support in Audacity. I mean, they'll load up and stuff, but you're not going to be able to do anything with them. So let's do Effects. And let's go to free and then just click go. And now we have a list of effects right here. Free, uh, you know, stuff made for free <laughs> or not made for free, but distributed for free. So let's try, I don't know. Let's find something. What is this for you? Dynamic tilt EQ. Um, hmm. Yeah, that sounds cool to me. I can always use IQ, EQs, IQs. Apparently, I don't have much of an IQ. Uh, and that's not free. Why is that? It says $39.99 or $90. let us go back. Filthy liars. Uh, what's, I don't know, Frontier. Let's see what this is. I think I've used this one before. All right, let's go ahead and download this if I can find a download link. And of course, there's none there. So usually this is much easier. Sorry. Stereo limiter. Let's try this one. OK, here we go. Downloads. Now this is a VST3 and they're 64-bit. Even though I am running a 64-bit uh, version of Windows, I think I'm going to go with the regular 32-bit uh, because I think Audacity is a 32-bit program. And although the 64-bit one will probably work too, I just, for the sake of this tutorial, I'd rather have something work the first time. Um, so just go ahead and save this. Okay, so let's show that in our folder there now the all you have to do to install this is let's just cut this or copy it or you can just drag and drop it but for my sake I'm just gonna do cut so let's go to cut and now let's go to um, computer and then C drive and then 
if you are on 32-bit, you're going to go to Program Files. If you're on 64-bit, you won't have this. Or if you're on 32-bit, you won't have this folder. But on 64-bit, you will. And that's where you're going to go for Audacity. So let's just go in there and then click on the Plugins folder. And then let's just paste that downloaded plugin right in there. Okay, so now all you have to do is you go to Effect here, and then we go to Add Remove Plugins. And now if we look here, you see that one showed up right on top, and it says State New. Now this is pretty important because it's not going to do anything unless you come to this screen and click Enable. Now that it's enabled, we click OK, and let's open up a file. And let's just select a little bit of audio here. Let's go to effect. And here's this thing, the stereo limiter. And you can preview it. And you can, you know, select your dry, wet, threshold. I'm not really teaching you how to do this plug-in, but let's just try it anyway. And then apply once you're happy with your settings then you can just close it and there you go so we just installed a free vst plugin uh, from kvr audio installed it on audacity and the same thing uh, you're going to do this with pretty much any plugin that you get the only other difference may be sometimes you might get one that's going to be in a zip file uh, usually they are in a zip file i'm not sure why that one wasn't but <clears throat> usually they're zipped so you just have to unzip it first and then copy it to your programs folder audacity and plugins folder and then go in here to the uh, effect and then add remove plugins make sure you click enable and once you click OK then it'll be in your effect menu like this and there we have it that's how you install VST plugins in audacity Thank you for watching, and please subscribe, click like, check out my other videos, all that good stuff, and uh, talk to you later.